How's it going, morons? <clears throat> I'm going to do a live review with you guys about... Um, my camera's a little off-center, but... Uh, Black Panther. So, just got done watching the movie. Um, I, well, I had dinner and chatted with my friends afterwards, but um, it was really, really good. Okay, so I'm going to try to do the first half... Um, the first half spoiler free, and then I'll give you a, a spoiler warning once I get to the spoiler parts. So, just letting you know, I will be trying to not spoil the movie for you. Um, so, is it worth going and seeing in, uh, in theaters? Yes. Reason being, I'm going to be honest, it's probably going to be the talk of the world right now. Uh, everybody is probably going to be talking about this for the next at least month because it it is a very well done movie um and on top of that the graphics are really good um the um what they do with the suit and what they do with um uh, Wakanda it's all very very good very well done and I really really enjoyed it um Obviously, you know, if you follow the Marvel movies at all, you know where everything's going. Because we know what's... I mean, we all know that uh, Infinity War is happening. And so, that's kind of predictable. But they do throw some plot twists in there that kind of sends you questioning, I guess. Uh, so, it is fun. It's really good. I enjoy it. And they do a lot as far as doing a lot of connections with what's going on with our, uh, with society in America, with uh, division between uh, classes and races, um, which a lot of people are, I'm going to be honest, are going to be very upset about. But, you know, it's a thing and it's happening and they're not playing shy with it. So they, they put it up front and center. So you have to learn to live with it or live without it. That's up to you. But, um, I'm, I'll get more into that later on when we get to the spoiler section. Um, they introduce, obviously, if you see the trailers, they introduce Killmonger and I love what they do with his character. Um, and on top of that, I, I, I'm glad they did, did away with the Jerry curls. Cause if you look at the comics, he has the, the crazy Jerry curls and it just looks, it, it, it look, doesn't look the, what we wouldn't take him seriously. Um, and I, so I like what they did with the character. They, it's an interesting take on Killmonger. Um, and they did something. Um, they did a lot of things that I was hoping that they would touch on. Um, they, they sewed up some loose ends and made it entertaining. I had, I, I did have a lot of fun watching the movie and I would definitely recommend seeing it. Yeah. It, it was, uh, out of 10, I would give it an eight. Um, I would give it an eight out of 10 and the only, uh, big downfall that I would give it would be, um, there are certain characters that I wanted in there that weren't, and I won't spoil that for you guys until after I give you your spoiler warning, but there are, there's, uh, there are things in there that I wish they would have added, but they didn't, so I'm just gonna have to live with that, and hopefully it comes up later on. Um, let me think, the... I'm trying to not spoil anything for you guys. The uh, the character development um, was on point with really giving us a good feel for um, how people interpret their um, I, I, not their African heritage, but but African society. Um, so it was it was interesting to see to see that perspective. Now. Do I have an accurate uh, 
am I credible as far as that's concerned? No. So I'm going solely based on my very limited understanding of what act, actual African um, society is like. So take that with a grain of salt, please. Um, so, yeah, definitely worth seeing. Go see it. It's going to be the talk of everything, um, even after the shooting, because let's be honest, a lot of people are really numb to that at this point, So, which is really depressing, but... Um, I think people are going to be talking about this because it has a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting points as far as society is concerned. So, and plus on top of that, we have, uh, Infinity Wars coming up here in, what is that? February, March, April, May, three months. Holy cow. That's only three months away. Um, so anyways, we are now going to move on to the spoiler portion. So, just an FYI, if if you don't want any spoilers, I am starting the spoiler portion of my of my review. So, I'll give you three seconds to to stop watching and go see the movie, or just keep watching. Okay, that's it. Um, so they don't have Captain America in there. So that. When we left, if I remember correctly, when we left Civil War, um, Captain America was in the throne room with Black Panther. What happened? Why, why the change? I don't get it. Uh, that that would have been awesome, and it also would have made things a lot cooler and like bigger and just yeah. Where I wore. I wore my Captain America hat because I thought Captain America was going to be it, be in it. I obviously didn't look at the IMDb and see, you know, what character is going to be in it. Uh, I'm stupid, but I don't care. I thought Captain America was going to America was going to be in it. Obviously not. With his new shield, like I don't know if anybody remembers, like there's a big controversy over Captain America's shield right now. The fact that it's not the Captain America shield and that it's built into his forearms, whatever. But he wasn't in the movie, which was stupid. I would have loved Captain America. He would have been like that... <clears throat> excuse me. He would have been that, like, token white boy, you know, that uh, that was, you know, accepted by his black friends. That would have been awesome. And plus, I think the symbolism behind that would have been really interesting as well. Um, because of what Captain America represents and what Black Panther represents. That would have been really, 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 really cool. But it didn't happen. Oh well. Um, what else? So, yeah, they didn't bring... That's that's the, my... that's Okay, so, when I gave my 8 out of 10 review, or my 8 out of 10 opinion, that's what I was upset about, is they didn't have Captain America and what they did with Bucky was stupid. Um... Hopefully they do something to explain more about what's going on with Bucky in Infinity War, but what they're doing right now is kind of ridiculous, because, yeah. Twitch side one, yes, how was the movie? 8 out of 10. Really good, I enjoyed it. Um, just to let you know, if you're watching right now, I am in the spoiler per portion of my video. I will be uploading... Uh, re-uploading this on YouTube if you want to watch it in full everything. So right now I'm in the middle of my spoiler review. So you have been warned. Um, where was I? Yeah, so what they did with Bucky was kind of ridiculous. He was just kind of this tag-on thing at the very end. And it, I was kind of upset about, about it. But... I don't know, hopefully they go more into it as in, in Infinity War because they didn't really explain much except for the fact that he was there, but he was uninvolved. Uh, or what he was doing during the movie, during, you know, the division between um, the, the battle with Killmonger and all that. Now, what I do love... Oh, man. Okay, so... Um, they brought in the the five tribes of Wakanda, and they touched on all of them. And I liked what they did with with like the challenge. 
I loved the fact that they finally had the ritual for the Black Panther, which I were ho- I was hoping they would do during Civil War, but they didn't. Um, but they they finally did it, and it was awesome, and I loved it. The ritual was really. Uh, Yes, and I liked how they had, like, the four tribes and um, the fifth tribe being this outlier that was kind of pushed away, outcast, um, and tries to get reinvolved by challenging uh, T'Challa, and I loved the fact that they did that because that is exactly what happens in the comics. Um, the four tribes are... Um, are United, and then we got this one tribe, I forget the name of it off the top of my head, um, and they, they are kind of the outcast, and I like the fact that they did that, uh, I like what they did with Eric Killmonger, um, they created a really good narrative for him, um, and it really brought it home with how, uh, how, black society has been for the past about 20, 30 years, the, the division in society, how, um, touchy that subject has become and that, um, he is a part of, you, you have both sides. You have, um, I don't like how my camera's set here. It's really annoying me. Um, but you have, you can see both sides and I like how they, um, show that division within uh, within its own cultural group. It gives it can really give uh, someone from the outside looking in an idea of the perspective. Um, now that depends on the individual. Obviously, that worldviews come into play as, as far as that's concerned. So pff, that that'll be that'll be up to the individual. But I believe that that was the intention here was to. Um, provide a segue for um, individuals on the outside to see what happens on the inside of those different demographics. And I th- I believe they did a good job, but, you know, that depends on the worldview. I am, I personally am a very open individual as far as worldviews and understanding people, but I can see, I can see a lot of people being very upset about this. Like, you're pushing... You're pushing a, a leftist uh, perspective into my movies and on my kids or whatever. I can see people getting upset, upset about this, but I digress. Um, so I, I I like how they brought Killmonger into a modern worldview and created a just a killing machine out of him. Uh, in the comics, he was more of like a wild man you know, beast type character. Whereas here, um, they create this soldier like killing machine, um, where you just see all these marks on his body where he, he's marked himself for his kills. And it's just, uh, it's just insane how they created this, uh, this narrative of this, this thing that they created themselves. Um, let me think they, they, uh, because if I'm starting to lose my words cause I'm getting tired. Um, they created a, uh, Wakanda or well, T'Challa's father created this monster themselves through T'Challa, uh, or T'Changa, his dad, T'Challa's dad, difficult names to remember, killed Eric Killmonger's father, which is T'Changa, T'Changa's dad, uh, brother, which is T'Challa's uncle. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so, um, by him killing Killmonger's dad, that created this monster, so they, 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 the society itself created it, um, and not its society, but, uh, Wakanda society created it itself. So I liked the fact that there was this 
sense of understanding at the end. So when when it was all said and done, obviously T'Challa kills Killmonger. And there was this sense of peace with Killmonger. Like he he grew to finally understand what T'Challa was trying to do. What his new plans were, what he was what what his intentions were. And he just seemed at peace with it at that point. He also, at that point, um, he was um, obviously coming to peace with his death. Um, but, I don't know, it, it just seemed as if there was this unspoken understanding that... Because what the issue was, was there... Uh, what's the wording I'm looking for? Wakanda keeps its technology a secret because it doesn't want the technology of vibranium getting out to the wrong people, so they, they kept themselves a secret. And so Killmonger's perspective is, you're keeping this a secret and our people are being oppressed, you need to step up and stand up for your people, while Wakanda is saying, no, we can't do that because we need that will make us vulnerable for people stepping in and causing problems. Um... And what uh, T'Challa uh, comes to understanding is that perhaps there's another way. Um, perhaps we've grown in power so much so that we don't have to worry about um, some about the the vibranium technology falling into the wrong hands. So. It seemed that's that's what his plans were, but he never vocalized it to uh, Killmonger. So it seemed as if there was an unspoken under, understanding that um, he is moving forward and progressing uh, Wakanda into the 21st century with um, Wakanda leading society and and moving him forward. So. Um, I really liked that. I liked that there was that he came to terms with, uh, or they 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 basically he came, became. I can't I can't speak my words because I'm tired. Um, I can't speak my words. I can't think of words because I'm tired. Um, there was a mutual understanding, and. I really, I really liked the fact that they did that and that they didn't have to vocalize it. It was like an unspoken kind of thing, and it was clever. Um, anyways, so, yes, I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, as I said, there are probably going to be a lot of people that are upset by it just because it is very um, open about the... Uh, um, the division within the black community and very open about the division between um, uh, society as a whole and blacks as a minority. So um, there are going to be people upset about it, but I, I, I'll be honest, it was a really good movie, really well written, uh, good graphics. But I, I can guarantee you there are going to be a lot of people upset about it. Anyways, i got to get off of here because I am absolutely exhausted. I'm stumbling over my words right now. Um, so I apologize for that. I'll probably go into a better review later on this week, possibly next week, uh, after I watch it again. But I really, really enjoyed it. Um, definitely go see it. 8 out of 10. Um, uh, remember doing the giveaway. Uh... The Overwatch Widowmaker pop figure. Yes, you guys too. Um, all you have to do is subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like my Facebook page. Share and like the Moronic Giveaway video. That's it. Then you're entered to win. Got, got this going on all month. Every month I'll be doing a uh, Moronic Giveaway. So don't forget to do that. Alright. Follow me on Twitter. 
Uh, that's uh, twitter.com slash coach Detman or twitter.com slash the underscore oxy underscore morons. Um, you can find that in pretty much any description that I post. Follow me on Facebook, facebook facebook.com slash drew the debt verse in crayon, or you can just type in the oxymorons, find my face and follow that. That's perfectly fine too. Um, Twitch, twitch.tv slash coach Detman, um, mixer, mixer.com slash coach Detman, mixer.com slash teams slash the oxymorons or uh, player.me slash the oxymorons, player.me slash coach Detman. I have a lot of stuff you can follow. If you can't find me, that's your fault. Yeah. Anyways, I'm going to get off of here, you guys. Um, I'm still, I'm still going to be redoing the, uh, the video or the, the podcast for, uh, my interview with David, uh, the audio turned out really bad. And on top of that, it got cut really short cause he had a schedule changed literally like the minutes he walked in. So, uh, we're going to have to redo that cause it just did not end up as good as what I wanted it to be. And it, it, it just wasn't good enough in my opinion. So <sighs> I'm going to go to bed. Um, so if you have any questions for David, leave it in the comment section. Anybody that hasn't heard of this uh, podcast interview, it is about the Naruto craze that is going on nationwide. There is a big resurgence resurgence in the Naruto CCG card collecting game uh, nationwide, and I'm going to be doing an interview with him about that. So if you have any questions at all, leave a comment below or DM me, whatever, however you want to get a hold of me. Uh, let me know if you want me to ask him any questions. So... Um, yeah, I'm going to sign off of here because I'm about ready to fall asleep and I have to open in the morning. So I will talk to y'all later. Bye.